Okay, so next video is about uh, freedom players who had enough with this town. Okay, this is a landing zone. Here you start, you can skill up, you can reach uh, okay quality, okay quality items, okay skills, and but this is a very small town. You cannot, you you can use it and sleep in it, but you probably want to be a resident somewhere but PvE players uh, will be not will not be safe from PvP players outdoors so uh, this area is protected till a limit and if you follow the road let me show you let's follow this road you see, uh, from this tower, I'm not, I, I think you will not be protected anymore. So let's follow. Oh, a wolf. Deal with it. So around here, very near here, okay, we will exit the safe zone. From here on, it's not safe. Okay, but for a short... Uh, for the excitement... <laughs> this 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 area is not safe but if you reach U town this one you will be safe so travel carefully it's it's not safe out there out there so if you follow this town uh, this road uh, from the starter you will reach uh, the U town U is uh, at the moment it, it it's 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 a very basic uh, town that uh, PV uh, players, environment players can uh, travel here, and it, it it is protected in here. You see, you enter U town. It is protected. It's protected until until this area okay if you reach here you are protected all of this area is protected okay so even this area is protected but it is very minimalistic and you will need to build it so first thing if you want to become a citizen you need to select any item right click and join it i will not do it because i'm the mayor of uh, of uh, empathy abbey so join the deed and you will be a, a citizen in here. Okay, so uh, settlement roles. Oh, I cannot manage these the roles. Okay, so a citizen in here. So, oh, for an ally. Okay, so, okay, an ally cannot do anything but a citizen will be able to do most of the operation as long as they are not destructive like you cannot bash or destroy or do, or, or mine mine down like something like that okay so it'll be a, 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 a the idea is to protect from uh, players who are bored and start ruining the starter town and make hard time for GM and for other players who just want to have fun. So, ah, another thing, freedom. Any starter should not uh, are not allowed to to bring uh, artifacts to protected zone because other players cannot take them back, win them back. Okay. So, this is the only safe zone where you can develop you can um, you can terraform the area around here you can farm it okay uh, you can join it as i said yeah, you have a uh, one uh one uh, uh, mailbox with one uh, spirit cast you will need to to get a higher priest and cast on it a full, pri full priest who will cast on it and uh, make it better 
uh, I, I leave it to you, but you can use the mail at the moment. Just it will take you one hour to, to send an email. So work on it. Uh, I've put a, a trader in here and the rest is yours. I mean, I've put this one so you can put your traders and your goods. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's empty. So another thing I did, uh, we have in you, we have a mine. And this mine, okay, it's, it's reinforced. I mean, if you follow it, it's reinforced. Okay, this one reinforced, reinforced, but it's reinforced until here. And from here, you can do whatever you want, okay? And, uh, and the reason I reinforced the exterior uh, walls is to prevent... <sighs> I'm a PvP player also. <laughs> I know what they can do. They can breach in here. Okay, so if it's on D, then it's reinforced. They cannot breach in here. So all of this area is protected. I don't know what veins are in there, in here, but this this is reinforced. But the other wall, the, the interior walls are not rein, uh, protected, uh, not reinforced. So you can you can mine them. You cannot mine down, or else it will players will be able to mess the mine you can mine uh, up and you can mine forward but not down so uh, also in every corner I've uh, I've uh, safe zone uh, a water area so miners will not need to go up and uh, bring water and such okay Every this is huge. U U is huge. It's it's uh, 64 the, uh, in radius. It's one. It's more than 100 tiles. Okay, from end to end. So all of this you can mine, and the exterior you cannot mine. And every in every corner you have water. Uh, and also I've exposed one tile in here, and if we'll prospected you will see it is capped to 50 I mean it's 38 quality you will not find a vein which is greater than 50 uh, on purpose um, what's that oh it's rock slate okay so let me get out of here so you have a huge mine mine it have fun it will be depleted in the end. You will need to find another way, another source to of of ores. You will need to go out or find someone, uh, PvP players who found something and he can sell you. He can, the PvP players out there can also place a merchant uh, in their deed and. Uh, and you can trade with that merchant, okay? Okay, so this is about you and the mine. In you, we have a very basic workshop, okay? It's, again, 20, uh, 22 quality. You need to make everything in here, everything, okay? Um, but I've put some basic stuff in here to cook and to... Uh, and and, uh, and, to, and to forge and to make some basic stuff. <laughs> you will you will need to to create the rest. Okay, so another thing is is red residency. So in here, if you enter you, go here to the slaughter lamp. You will have some free uh, beds to sleep in. It's a free sleep. Uh, I might put some rent on it, um, but I'm not sure that I will do it right now, okay? So another thing is a house. I mean, you want your privacy, your house. So all of this area, not only 
this one, okay, all of this area is planned to be a residency. Uh, so, and, yeah, and every deed area is, uh, is marked. I mean, it's like A, B, C, and then one, two, three. So this row is A, this one is B, and this, uh, this, uh, sorry, this row is one, this row is two, and this column is A, this column is B, and so on. And you can, uh, you can rent it, okay? Uh, by renting, I mean you can basically buy this this uh, this plot, and you you can create your own uh, house. So please, only one uh, house per Steam ID because you can uh, share it with your alt. You can create as high as you want. I'm sure we will see monsters in here and also small houses. It will be interesting. And to do so, please, uh, as, as the sign says, uh, ask the mayor. The current mayor is London. It is a GM uh, mayor. But maybe in time I will pass it on. So it will be able to... Uh, advanced uh, residence. I, I don't want to mess with it. I mean, I want players to handle this area. Um, trusted players, of course. So, in time, you can you can be trusted, and and you will uh, advance from a citizen to uh, a trusted citizens, and you can even reach higher levels, probably. Uh, all in good time. Just don't uh, mess with your. <laughs> I mean, don't don't do crazy stuff. So people will be scared of you, and you will go down to a citizen again, and be a bit limited. So uh, the way to do it, you need to send. Uh, you need to send the land on a letter. Okay, create a letter and send it to him um, and ask to become a resident and uh, a, 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 a deed owner, a plot owner and just mark the plot you want. I mean, a, a free or whatever. If that w plot will not be available, like maybe another player ask them first. So uh, the, the next the next uh, plot around it will be available. I, I, let's say you want A3, but it's not available anymore. So maybe B2 is available, or B3, or B4, or A4. Okay. Uh, you, uh, uh, the, the, the mayor will come here, and he will, uh, he will build you. Uh, a basic house, okay, something like this, okay, let me show you, let's plan a building, oh, come on, really, okay, sorry for that, it's supposed to be a bit faster, and, Okay, this is the plot building, and since I'm a GM, I can do oh, finalize, and then build walls just for the show. Let's be the wooden uh, wall, and let's create an opening. Build. A wooden uh, door. Okay, so here is your house, and um, you will not be, be the owner of the house, but you will have permissions. What do I mean? I mean this house will be locked. Okay, let's say. Uh, door lock. Okay.
it takes a bit a little time the house will be locked and only will you will be permitted to enter it okay permission manage building uh, I will change it to uh, John Doe uh, house okay. and Uh, the owner, uh, the, the the owner of the house uh, will be the mayor because we don't. You know what? The owner can be you. Let's say John. Okay, I can move it to you, and I will explain what will happen in time. So, and 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 uh, I will add Joan which does not exist, but John will be in here, okay? Let's say Lord British is John, and he, he will be able to manage, enter, modify the building, pick item, pick planted, make, and there's no reason to put a merchant in your house if it's locked, uh, and you will be have all of the permissions to manage your house. Once you, this will be, uh, um, be done you will be able to enter here uh, and and you will be able to build the rest of the house okay so let's say one silver for a house okay it's not that high it's more it's idea it's, it's, it's for the idea and you will get a house and uh, one silver, five silver, I don't know. I'll decide it over time. I didn't thought about it. And you will tell me what kind of exterior first floor you will want. If it's uh, wooden, if it's marble, whatever. I will be build this, okay, with no no windows and only one door and the door will be facing the main street this 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 area okay i mean this this side and those will face that side okay you will have a house and you will need to build uh, everything else uh the the floor uh, okay so we'll need to plan uh, you will need to continue it as high as you can as high as you want okay it's yours but you will need to long at least one time per month because there is a mode that is installed that tells the gm which player are inactive and by inactive, I mean did not log for a full month. Uh, so we will need to log at least once in a month and just move one tile, okay? Move one tile and log out or go to sleep. But you must log at least one time in, in one month. Uh, because every month I go, I go over the list of inactive players, and if they have a deed, and I know if they have a deed, it's the player name, and and not not the deed, the house. Also the deed, but the deed I don't care because it will be depleted over time. So, but but the house will stay forever, and I don't want houses there forever. So one month in warm is almost one year. Uh, one month in real life is almost one year in in warm. It's like three hundred days in warm. So if you did did not log, you abandoned your house, and that means that I will need to demolish it. In that case, the GM will. Uh, We'll simply uh, ch change. Oh, sorry. Uh, no. 
it will manage the building, transfer the ownership ownership to the GM, and then the GM can manage the building. And this one is John's house, as you can see, and he can just demolish it, okay? And all of the stuff that will be in here will be destroyed uh, because this player is not active anymore. I, I'm not sure if it, if I will do it one month for, or maybe more, I, I, maybe I will do it two months, okay? Maybe three months, I don't know. Okay, but if you are on the list and it's time for me to collect, I will need to destroy it. Okay, and any item that will be in this house will be also destroyed, as you can see, pretty easily. So that's about you. That's about uh, having a house. I think a house will cost for like 10 silver, something like that. I mean, not 10 silver, but maybe 5 silver, I don't know. I mean, something that not every player, a player need to earn it. So, that's it. It's, it's a 12 tiles house, and you can build floors. So, that's enough. I mean, that's it's good enough. You can store stuff on the upper uh, floors. Uh, you can craft on every corner. I mean, some forgers in here, an oven, two oven, five oven, depends on your crafting uh, skill that you want to improve or become, your, the role you want, the crafter role you want to become. And that's it about uh, PVE players, safe zones. Uh, Really, this 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 one is huge. All of this is yours. Let's let's go to the center. All of this is yours, and it's it it is protected, and none can do anything. But okay, so you can community create a, a bay in here, and let's see. I didn't check it out, but. I hope it leads out. Okay, another thing I forgot to say is if you press M, you have a in-game map. All right, okay, so it's a lake, so it's in here. This is your area. No, you can, you can... Uh... Okay, this one is safe and this one is safe. You can even tunnel from here to here to have a, a sea passage, a water passage. And you can sail from here and from here pretty safely and it is protected, okay? Again, outside the protection zone, it's the Wild West. Pirates can be here. Pirates can be here. They can deed in here. Uh, why? That's the game. That's how it goes. So this one, this area is safe. Something like this. This area is safe. From here to here, it's not safe. But if the community will build a portal, you can teleport from here to here easily, uh, safely. Uh, a town portal. And you will not need to travel unless you want to travel with a cart and lead animals and such. So, that's it. So, another thing is the rules of the uh, freedom players. Since you are protected, there are things you are not allowed to do. Okay? Uh, first, uh, you cannot... Uh, let's see... Um, okay. As you can see, I'm Lord British is a freedom leader, is the king, but he's a freedom player. Okay, so he cannot do missions. I cannot change anything about it. 
because uh, freedom of Vinora players and Vinora does not participate in PvP. For those who don't know about it, Valerie is the PvP um, mission uh, map. So every time a PvP player, a kingdom, uh, helps finishing uh, uh, sorry, uh, a mission, see the difficulty one, so every time you will be advanced by one, when you reach seven out of seven and finish that mission, and it will, will become harder and harder, actually you help your uh, deity, you help your god. So Venora is not playing, as you can see, it, it is not moving, but foe on the lower is heading to in two days. Every time you finish a mission in here, you help him. Let's check uh, Libelia, for example. Two days, okay, they all move in two days, but let's say it, well, it's, it says, ah, two days is a long time. So if you finish a mission, it will, you will fast your god. It will not be two days, it will be one day and a half, okay? So if your god is faster in this chest uh, god's playground, they can have move faster and collect items and they can win a scenario a scenario and if they win a scenario everyone who follows this god have some bonuses that's how it goes okay but freedom players cannot do that they are not participating participating in pvp in any way so they will not get these bonuses that's for start they are crafters. Okay, so that's the first thing. Since they are not a PvP active players, they are not allowed to basically have any artifact, okay? But as I know players, they will hunt artifact and find them probably, but they are not allowed to bring the artifact here. If a PvP player will uh, start locate an artifact and he will reach this area okay he will screenshot that the, the artifact is in here I will need to come here and find the artifact and the reason that artifact are, artifacts are not allowed in a non PvP area is that PvP players cannot collect them and it's a PvP very important item and if they cannot get in here and they not and they cannot fight uh, to get the artifact if it's in this house let's say this is your house and you drop the artifact in here they will never be able to get the item so in this case i will need to come to the town that the pvp player has reported and gave me evidence and Evidence, I mean, you can press F12 and it will screenshot, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it will screenshot and it will send me this screenshot. And, and I will see in the events that is, is searching for the artifact in Clids in here to this protected area. I will find it, this artifact quite easily. Okay. And I can even per item i can uh, see see the logs see who, who was the last uh, owner uh, and such okay last uh, owner id okay and you will be the owner of that artifact if you do that that means you are from that point a pvp player an active player i will take that artifact and I will need to uh, uh, destroy it or hide it so PvP players will be able to find it again. 
but that means that you are no longer a PvE crafter role player. You have become a PvP player. You will be immediately, <laughs> since you broke the rules, immediately uh, your house will be destroyed. You cannot stay in here again. You will be... Um, uh, okay, this is not my... Okay, so let's teleport to Empathy Abbey so I can show you. Okay, as, as a town owner, you will be manage reputations and I will enable the you you will need to leave the town you will not be able to to be in ta in that town okay you you will use the ability to become freedom uh, freedom uh, player which means that creature uh, change kingdom I will find your name and I will change your kingdom to a non freedom kingdom like none or JK or whatever and when you log in you will become hunted by the speed spirits and, and and such okay you will have to run or you will be killed and you will not be able to come back again to this place and you will need to survive outdoor like any other pvp player okay this is not punishment you have declared that you want to become a pvp player by by starting to to do that okay so keep in mind Another thing, if a player is going out of, is, is starting a fight, okay, in here you cannot fight, okay, but let's say uh, that, uh, okay, let's say you moved out, okay, and you started a fight with that player, not the freedom uh, player. But a real player, if you started a fight outside of the protection zone and you start running to the protection zone, you from here you are protected and the P, the the man the uh, the PvP player you started the fight, that's not fair. That player can screenshot you again, okay? Show me the logs, and and, and this is a. This is an act of criminal, okay? I mean, you have become a PvP player from that point on. If you started a fight outside of the protection zone, and you started that fight, okay? Not if you are running away from... But the, 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 the PvP player can show me a log that you have started to fight with him. Not he started. That means you are a PvP player. And you will need... Again! You will be kicked out of uh, freedom because freedom is not about PvP. It's not about fighting. I mean, you can ask your friend. Let's let's go have a some fight. You can go out in here, and you can challenge him, and you can duel with him. That's okay. Have fun. But if you started a fight, not in here. I mean, in any area, and you run away from that fight again, back to safety. That's abuse of the safety zone. And it's not cool. Because you started that fight, you need to finish it. You need to die even. But not you don't return to safety. Okay? That will be a banishment again. I mean I I don't mean banish uh, from uh, login and such. You will be banished from safety, from freedom. And uh, I will choose a random uh, kingdom, okay? 
and from there you will be able to um, change your kingdom after a day or two a day if I'm if I'm right I've changed the settings so you can change your uh, I think one day cooldown or one week I don't remember but in time you in in very short time you will be able to 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 join the kingdom you want but you will need to do it alone I, I don't have time to handle this, this stuff okay Okay, so that's another thing uh, safe uh, freedom players are not allowed. What else? Um, I think that's it. Beside of that, have fun. Trade, sell. Oh, another thing, another thing. The sense we need to communicate. Uh, there is a CA help window, which should be by default... Uh, uh, enable. If it's not enabled, you can right click and manage your profile. Okay, and this is my uh, okay. So, regard this go to uh, player chat. Okay, allow PM or don't allow if you, but if you want to trade, you need to allow. The ability to talk with other kingdoms so cross kingdom any so any can talk to you and incoming pm allow and cross server it doesn't matter we have only one server in here and friends overwrite always and another thing is the ca help if it's not showing come here and just select the show okay so uh, where is the trade? Okay, you can uh, use the trade to communicate about trade, but if you want to talk with other players, freely use the CA help. This is a cross kingdom chat, use it as cross kingdom. Okay, I don't know how to rename this, maybe in time I will be able to, to chat or whatever, global chat. But for now, just use this one to cross kingdom chat with other players, say hello, and whatever. So that's another important thing. So that's basically uh, most of the stuff, probably. Okay. And uh, if if I'll if I'll uh, remember with something else, I'll. Uh, Oh, another important thing is that uh, you must install the uh, client mode launcher mode. Okay, only only this one. The other ones, it, it, you decide if you want to add them. I use skill gain tracker and also the live map and also the ESP. ESP is allowed. Everything is allowed in here. Okay, I cannot enforce what you will install and not. So to make it fair for everyone everything is allowed but i have an anti esp mode installed also okay so you will not be able to go in here and see everything okay the reason i'm seeing this is because i have a high prospecting okay so let's change my Let's see, prospecting. I'm gonna pee. Prospecting, okay, 99. Let's turn it to 5. Okay, now I don't see anything. Ah, I see this one. Ah, the reason I see this one is because it is. Uh, open and expose okay it's open and it is exposed i mean if it was in here and there is an opening a tile the, which is mined uh, you will be able to see them but i can't see through walls now okay i need to uh, uh skill up my uh, prospecting and uh, 
is prospecting. Okay, let's say I've scaled up to 55. That's something like four tiles away. Let's see how to reset this. Four tiles away, I can now see those because there are something like two, three tiles away. And if you reach 80 plus, you can see six tiles away. Okay, so this is basically exactly how it will work if you right click mine and prospect. Okay, you will see that there is a. Uh, uh, ah, right, right, right. I need to mine. And let's see. Where is the tools? The pickaxe. And that's mine. And then. Let's analyze it. Okay, so. It's the same thing as doing this. Yeah, that's that's what the anti-ESP does. So if we we'll check it out, we can see that seven, seven five from here. There is uh, utmost quality rock salt in here, and also sandstone, probably this one, and another sandstone, probably this one, and there are more stuff in here, and that's about it. And I think that's it. Uh, I know it was it, uh, it was a little bit long. Um, also, I try to make every town have access to at least two ways out. Okay, so if this one is blocked by pirates, go that way. Right. Uh, yeah, you can go here and go adventure, run, or whatever. Uh, we have an in-game map. It is intentionally like this. Okay, you need to go and I, I want to show as little as we can. It's an old style map. This map will be updated once every a month, for two months, real time. Because I'm not sure I will even update them because this is a PvP map. I mean, maybe you want, maybe I need to think about it. I mean, we want the map to be updated over time, right? But it will also expose PvP deeds and uh, such. So I probably will update it once every month or so. Uh, because it is considered spying, it's the same as spying. Okay, uh, you can use it. You can uh, add village annotation, alliance annotation, your own annot only annotation that you will see, and the maps will be updated, and it will be exactly the same and exactly in the same pixel. Because if you put a marker in here you don't want the new map updated map to be shifted so it will be exactly this this pixel and the same uh, map size and everything so that's about it and you can also add in here anything you want so that's it go have fun yeah I've also there, there are many modes the modes will be shared. Any mode I'm using, any setup, if I update the modes, okay, the setting, it will be updated and you will be able to see the mode settings in GitHub so all can view the mode settings and understand what is the setup. It is impossible to share the setup and explain it because I'm using something like 50 modes and each mode is have its own setup. It, it really is impossible. But if you can uh, open the mode files properties and read it, and you can find uh, every mode uh, explanation over the internet, uh, I will add links where to find the explanation about the modes. 
and everyone can see the settings and it will be fair for everyone so there will be less probability that one did not know about the settings and it was not fair and it's he plays it one year and the other it feels like they exploded these settings and he didn't know about it and then this is the GM fault no if you want to know everything read the mode settings I cannot explain everything another thing is that if you uh, and, and another nice mode is that if you come here okay right click you can uh, yes we need uh, oh, I don't have it yes I have okay you can um, maybe I need to drop something in here let uh, this one okay this this anything you drop in the trash will rot in one hunt in one hour okay completely but if you want it to uh, let's say you want to make space and you don't want to drop everything on the ground until it you will have more time per hour to dispose of 100 items you can right click using a steel and flint and empty the trash bin this will, this will set a 12 second timer that you can escape cancel okay and when the timer hits zero anything in here will be disposed anything rare items anything <laughs> okay so it's a nice ability to dispose of uh, grinding items but be careful in worm online i sold my best knife to to this <laughs> i just did something like this sell and it was gone oh i cannot uh, maybe this one okay you can sell it and i lost uh, my best knife a rare one so that's it have fun and I see you in game. Goodbye.